I'm going to get all 35 trophies and Ratchet and Clank 1 for the PlayStation 3. The world record for the fastest platinum trophy is 3 hours and 56 minutes. And to prove that I'm the best Ratchet speedrunner in the world, I'm going to try to beat it by at least a full hour. Now I've played this game about 10,000 times, so I need a fresh profile with no trophies at all. The name should show who I am as a player, as well as let everyone know that I'm a confident and mature man of culture. Mmm, perfect. Now I can start the run. You get trophies in this game for beating bosses, but also for picking up collectibles, buying weapons and upgrades, getting different skill points, and also... Getting a million bolts. That's the first trophy to work on, so I use speedrun tech to get all the way through to the end of the water planet, Rilgar, in about 30 minutes. I go out of bounds over to the racetrack that you normally do the hoverboard races on. I make my way over to this giant stack of crates, and now watch this. I am inevitable. This is Ratchet 1's notorious infinite bolt glitch, a trick that dates all the way back to 2009. Normally, it baits enemies into attacking you with its loud horn, but it can also break crates. Since I'm not supposed to be in this area, the crates above me infinitely respawn as I break them. That means I can farm as many bolts as I want. So now I'm going to sit here for the next 18 hours collecting bolts. Hold it! 18 hours to collect 1 million bolts? That makes no sense. Didn't I just say I'm gonna try to beat this in under 3 hours? Not so fast. Here's the big secret. The PlayStation Network doesn't start the Platinum Trophy Timer until after I've collected my first trophy. So yes, I can farm bolts for 18 real-world hours and have zero on the timer. And not only that, I'm actually going to stop just short of 1 million. I can pick up the rest during the run. So I taped my circle button down, wrapped a rubber band around it for good measure, flew to Disney World, made out with Woody from Toy Story at the fireworks show for several hours, and got back just in time to start playing again. And if you want to help me cover the cost of my expensive, yet romantic, trip to Disney World, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel and pushes my videos to a wider audience. The first trophy I'm actually going to get is here, when I pick up the Magna Boot. Okay, let the timer as soon as I see the trophy pop up. It should be popping up. Let's let the timer begin. Here we go I pick up the suck cannon on Eudora for a trophy and then use it to suck up these losers and blow up ships for a skill point And this trophy vehicle bombardier cool name the next area I go to is the snow planet Hoven where I get another skill point and a trophy for sucking up these little dudes Like my name is Luigi's mansion before we go. We need to visit this guy Oh, hey. He gives us the Raritanium, which we need to trade for a trophy in the depths of the island resort planet, Pokitaru. If we swim to the bottom, there's one spot right here where we penetrate the seafloor with only a tiny bit of persuasion. You know, like your mother. Now I swim all the way out of bounds over to this nerd, who's seriously upset over what I just said about his mother. He's a cool guy, though, so we settle our differences and he gives us the Persuader. We should be getting a trophy for this very soon. There it is. Gemlik has a couple of really sick trophies. First off, we skip the entire level with this movement chain to hit the boss trigger. That should work. Oh, beautiful. I've got to destroy all eight of these cargo ships, so I get seven of them while in the ship. Then I exit the ship, jump down, and take out the last one while in the air. The next trophy is for beating Captain Quark, but the fight is super annoying, so speedrunners have a way to skip it. I exit the ship, go over here to collect the gold bolt, and just die. This skips the fight, and I get the trophy. I'm up, but it should. There it is, all quarked up. Have fun trapped in space forever, Quark, you useless old bitch. That brings me to Ultanis, where I'll get this, the PDA. You can use the PDA to buy ammo on the go for a higher price than normal, but speedrunners also use it for a ton of different tricks. To get it, I have to do Beam Jump, the single hardest trick in the entire game. I walk up this wall I'm not supposed to walk up jump over to this building I'm not supposed to be on, climb up this slope I'm not supposed to climb up, and then I do this. Here we go, do I still have the magic? I still got it, baby. I still got it. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta hit this double jump. This will prove if I really got it. That's gonna be really close. Come on. No! And then I do this. Okay, hold on. I'm getting in my own head. That double jump ain't got nothing on me. I'm, I'm in my own head. I'm gonna hit this one perfectly. 
I said I do this. Okay. Third time's the charm. That's not going to work. Oh, that actually worked! Oh my god, okay, so we finally got the PDA. Haha, <laughs> easy. There's a bunch of cleanup to do in this area now, starting with picking up the morph array. I also get a trophy for breaking all the lamps in the level. Okay, now we can start breaking shit. Vandal. That's a- that is a tough one, I will say. I think that's worth a silver. With the PDA, I can now go back to all the first planets and pick up the trophies I skipped earlier. On planet Kurwan, I get a trophy by blowing up Robo-Quark with the rocket launcher, and another one by going over here and standing in between this dude's legs. For the next several planets, I'll be picking up trophies for getting collectibles and skill points. Anyone who played these games remembers the Rhino. I know for you, robot. Trade you. And there's a trophy for spending 150,000 bolts to buy it. It's the strongest and most expensive weapon in the game. There's two more trophies to get on Realgar. Remember the racetrack where we did the infinite bolt glitch? We're going back there now. We get one trophy for actually doing the hoverboard race in under a minute and 35 seconds, and another trophy for landing a Twisty McMarks, the hardest hoverboard trick in the game. On the war planet, Battalia, I cruise through this grind rail section without taking any damage, which gives me my 15th skill point and unlocks another trophy. I use my Sonic Summoner gadget to summon this... Sonic... guy, and fly across this gap here to blow up these tanks for a trophy. Hey, big guy. What's going on? Come fight me. Yeah, that's right, idiot. I just jabated you. Get on. There we go, we get that skill point now. I pick off two easy trophies here by buying the first and second nanotech upgrades with my outrageous wealth. Hello? Okay, there we go. Premium nanotech, and now ultra nanotech. Good. We should be getting both trophies, right? I get both trophies now? There we go. Okay, good. It gave me both trophies. I was really scared it wasn't going to give me both of them. Now we reach one of the hardest planets in the run, Drex Fleet. There's a trophy here called Careful Cruise that you get by going through this water section without taking a single hit. This is hard even for speedrunners, so we found a way around it. Now we don't actually have to do this for real. We can just cheat. While going through Drex Fleet, we grab our one millionth bolt and nab ourselves that juicy gold trophy. Hey, I got the trophy! Never mind, it wasn't a waste at all! We got the bolt collector trophy! I'm closing in on the end of the game now. I get one trophy for getting 4,500 points in this race, another trophy for buying every weapon in the game, and a third trophy for killing 10 of these flying dudes with my wrench. Now there are just a handful of trophies left. Before I can take on the final boss and finish the run, I have to go all the way back to Novalis, the second level in the game. Here I get a trophy for this skill point. Maybe that'll hit. Maybe? Yeah! Somehow that hit! <laughs> take aim. Is it gonna give me the skill point trophy now as well? Let's find out. That should be the last one. Yes, absolutely beautiful. And the trophy for collecting the 40th and final gold bolt. This, we should be getting the gold bolt skill point now. Skill point. Trophy. Yes, perfect. And now we have a problem. The only trophy left other than beating the last boss is to buy all 10 of the gold weapons with our stockpile of gold bolts. So, in theory, all I have to do is clip into the gold weapon room to wrap this up. Oh! Oh! That's so interesting! I know where the other five are! Whoa, so in any percent, it only shows you five of the ten. I didn't know that! Oh my god, I do have to go into New Game Plus. I actually have to go into New Game Plus. 
In the Ratchet games, when you beat the final boss, you can go into Challenge Mode, or New Game Plus, where you start over, you get to keep all your weapons, and the enemies get stronger. So now, I have to beat the final boss, unlock Challenge Mode, and go all the way to Novalis again, with only a few minutes left to beat the game in under 1 hour and 30 minutes. Dig deep, Zen. Do it for him. I think I can actually clutch sub-130 if I play really well. I need Prey just for the sub-130. Imagine first run I get one sub-130. I have to beat Drek, though. He can be a little tricky. We have Gold Pyrocitor, which is really good. You can use this to just light him up. Look at the, how, how fast that takes down his health bar. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Sub-130 is alive and well. Okay, we got Drek this. We have one more trophy to get before we get Platinum. We just gotta get through Belden. And it's the gold weapons. That's all we gotta do. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're looking good here. Here we go. Oh my god, it's every other thing. That's so funny that they spread it out like that. I mean, it makes sense. Is that it? Is that the last one? This is the last one. We wait for the platinum trophy to come up and then we hit time. Here we go. Trophy number one should be gold weapon. Ratchet, ki Ratchet King Midas. There it is. And now finally, here we go. Boom! Flat trophy in one hour, 28 minutes on the dot. And there it is. The Platinum Trophy world record for Ratchet & Clank won by nearly two and a half hours. The final thing to do is register my new profile online so it can sync up to PSN profiles. And there you have it. I'm the new Ratchet 1 Plat Trophy World Record Holder, and it's not even close. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, you should check out this next video of mine. It's algorithm recommended, so you know it'll be good. Consider subscribing to my Patreon if you want to help directly support the creation of these videos. Thanks for watching, and make sure to drink some water. What kind of award do you get for not going to the gym for six months? Atrophy.